From the looks of it, Tommy, you are ready to start rebuilding that dormer. We are definitely ready to start building. What we're going to do is we're going to cut new 2x10 rafters, and we're going to cut them at a steeper pitch to match the house. Let's do it. All right, so now here is the cheek wall and the face of the dormer. We've taken the rafters out, as you can see. Now we have to frame the new rafters. Right, and so how would we uh, actually calculate those rafter cuts, Tommy? All right, well, the first thing we need to do is we need to take a measurement. So we measure from the outside of the sheathing on this side all the way over to the outside of the sheathing on that side. That gives me a measurement, in this case, of 72 inches. Now, I know that the ridge is going to go in the middle of this new dormer, so I divide that in half. It gives me 36 inches. Okay. So let me show you right here. So we have the outside of our dormer from outside the cheek wall is 72 inches. I also know that I want to place the ridge in the middle of that, so I have to divide that in half, which gives me 36. Okay. Now I need to find the length of the diagonal right here, which is the rafter. Now, the architect wants to match the angle of the roof, and that's an 18-12 pitch, which means that every 12 inches that we go in, we have to go up 18. So 12 inches in, up 18, 24 in, up 36, and then 36 would be up 54. So now we know two of our measurements. Right. To find the length of that diagonal, in the old days, I'd take my framing square, and what you do is you lay it on the edge of a rafter, and you put it at 18 on one side, and I put a mark. You want to make sure you use the same edge of the rafter, and you put it on 12 on the other. Which is right there. Right. Move it down. So 18 one, here, 12 two. there. There's two, and so on down the line. Then I connect the long points. That gives me my diagonal. Okay. So that was then. What right. about now? Well, now I would take out my phone. I have a calculator on it. I give the two variables, and it gives me the length of the rafter. And now we know what to cut. We know what to cut. All right, now you can see here I've already laid out the rafter. We have our 18-12 plumb cut here where it meets the ridge. I've measured down for a seat cut for the face of the wall and the top of the wall. I also measured from the face of the wall out for our fascia board and our overhang. Now I'm ready to make a cut. We have all of our pieces cut. Now we're going to start assembling. And I'm going to assemble right here with the gable first. So hold that up and nice and tight to the wall. All right, let's get that ridge. Slide it right up and hit that nail if you can. Perfect. Bring it, make it even on the top and even on the outside. Front and top is even. Started here. All right, I got it here. Let's get the other. All right, now make sure you're seated nice and tight to the wall on there. Screw it in. Tommy, I think I'm going to like this new steep pitch. Yeah, it's going to look good. All right, so what's next for this? Well, we want to fill in the end with two bys for the for the gable, and then we're going to sheathe the roof, and we're in business. Perfect. So next time, we're going to see ourselves a finished dormer. Until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor. And I'm Tom Silver. For this